everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name's Inside A Gamer, and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 with my tutorial series. And today we're looking at Pilot 2 ATC. Now, a lot of people look at VATSIM as an alternative to the ATC in the game. I don't really recommend the ATC in the game. I, I don't really rate it at the moment. Um, but the problem with VATSIM is a lot of people feel like they don't want to mess around, especially when you're first learning. They don't want to mess around with people that are actually playing online um, because you can make people a little bit angry. But there is another solution. There is something called Pilot to ATC. So what I'm going to do in today's episode is just show you a quick guide on how to set it up and kind of get it going. Uh, and then after that, you guys will have to go away and look and play a bit more yourselves. I am not perfect with it. I am still learning this one myself. Um, but I thought I'd give you a quick tutorial just to show you how to set it up. Now, what we actually are looking at today is this Pilot to ATC. Uh, so it's a new companion program for PC based flight simulators that will make your flying experience more realistic and enjoyable than you ever thought possible. You've got two way voice communications with ATC, co pilot features which can handle most communications. Say it features our TTS communications with ATC, air traffic aware ATC with alerts, create VFR, IFR flight plans, plan fly SID stars, approaches, and IFR flights, uh, moving maps, satellite views, moving sector charts, airport diagrams, nav and com radio control, intelligent frequency flight, autopilot, and more. So like I said, this is a good alternative program to VATSIM. So basically it's like a computerized uh, ATC. So we have certain things that we can say and it will talk back to us. Our autopilot can do a lot of things. It's a great way to learn how to talk to ATC. So then when you do go up onto VATSIM, it might not be as scary. Now this does have a 10 day free trial. Um, but after that, it is a little bit pricey, I must admit. But I definitely highly recommend it. It is at 59 USD dollars. Um, but you do have your 10 days on your full access now when it comes to what you need to download uh, if you go down to the download pages and you can see here what you need to do so you got a couple of things um, you got the full download includes Navigraph database with Eric Cycles 1801 um, for me this is what I'll be using version 2 6.1.3 with Navigraph because I can sync my Navigraph to it um, but you know you can go down through these all you have to do is get the exe file and run it and it's very very simple now once you've run it on the XE file, you will be able to then load up this page and this is what we have. Now this looks quite daunting and even for me I'm still getting my way around, I'm not perfect with it. Um, but I am slowly getting there. So I'm going to show you how to create a flight plan. Now there are two different ways we can do this. Uh, for me I find the easiest auto plan from Simbrief, uh, you've got two options with that. So how we're actually going to add these flight plans is very simple, uh, we could import them here. So say if you've saved a plan from Simbrief or the Microsoft Flight Simulator itself as a PLN file, which I've shown you in other tutorials, you could just click this and it would open up your PLN. Now I don't have one for the route that I had planned for today. Uh, so what we're going to do is F Flight Plan Import here on the side. Now you're going to see this little box appear. And up here we have Navigraph, Real World Flight Plan, depending on what you use. We're going to use Simbrief today. I do use Navigraph as well. But Simbrief is what we're going to use today. So once you bring up your sim brief, all you really want is this. This is what we need. This is our route. So if we copy this, um, very, very simply, copy this. Bring up our flight plan again, and all we need to do now is paste that in here. Now what we do need to do is put in our starting airport, uh, which is obviously EIDW. And we need to put in where we are heading to as well, which is EGKK. And then if we press import, our flight plan has now been imported. But it is missing a few things. It needs a SID stars and approaches that we haven't done just yet. If we click on the SID, it will load up here. And now, look, it actually brings you up charts. It brings you up all the charts. Uh, we know that we're going out via Dexon, uh, which is fine, I believe. Uh, runway 16. I don't know why it's changed that. We are going from runway 10. Uh, what I want is the Dexy 2E. So we are going for runway 10. Our departure is the Dexy 2E. And there we go. We're going off to Dexon. And I'm going to hit load. So that's now going to change that. It's going to change on our flight plan here as well. That does take just a couple of seconds. Okay, so now that that's inputted here. Look at this. The waypoints have now been inputted. Okay, so now we need to go to our star. And we know that we're coming from the Astro and the Willow 3B. Now, runway, we are coming in on the ILS 2L26 left. Um, that won't change much here. We want the Willow 3B because that's what we have from our sim brief. So if we put in the Willow 3B, and here we go. This is the approach that we want. Uh, let's load that in. Sorry, our star. 
And then our approach for today, uh, because we are going into 26 left, we will be taking an Arnav or an ILS. We'll take an ILS. Uh, so from Willow, it'll take you now in on that transition. Let's load that in to the flight. And here we have it. There is our flight plan done, guys. It's going to bring us in like this. A bit janky. It doesn't look like that on the on the sim brief or the flight plans. But anyways, that is fine. Okay. So what we will need to do now is press validate. And that will go green. That means the flight is good. It's happy with the flight. Now, a few things that we need to look at here are the configurations. Now, on the setup here, I have ignore avionic switches and battery switches because some aircraft, this does not work with on Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Some of the GA it does, but the jets, it's not working. So we have to ignore that. So this will always be connected. If you don't have this on, this will not connect to the flight simulator. Uh, the other thing here, obviously, we're going to be an airline today. I'm Ryanair 2042. That is going to be my call number when I talk to ATC. Okay, so we are happy with that. Uh, this stuff we don't really need to mess with too much. Sounds I'm not going to talk about here. Uh, and voices, look, we have it on random voices. I don't have many installed yet. We will have to install some more voices and that will be a separate tutorial. Today is just about getting you up in the air with this. Okay, and that is pretty much it. The only other thing that we need here is a push to talk button. Now you can do it on your joystick, your your keys, anywhere you want. It is completely up to you. Now the one thing I would set up is one here for yourself and a say it hotkey because a say it hotkey is your co-pilot because you can actually make your co-pilot do all the ATC so you can learn what he's saying or if you get a bit confused you can use him like I said this is why this is better than Vatsim um, it just for, for now if you're just kind of learning this stuff especially if you're very beginnings at flight simulations and you don't want to be upsetting people on the real life stuff this is very good for that very good way of learning the speech now actually going back to the setup what we need to the other thing that you need to click here is co-pilot options response to radio if this is ticked he will automatically respond to any radio calls to you um so that's up to you i would leave that on to start with like i said learn the speech very very slowly so make sure that this is connected to here so respond to radio and he changes frequencies okay so he will do the stuff automatically for you okay come back out of configuration now there's one more thing we need to do now that we validate we need to connect to the simulator now there is a program that we need to use which is FSUIPC7, it is a beta. Um, we use this for a lot of the add-ons, so the chances are if you're using other add-ons you may have this. All we need to do is click it, it says it's already running, because I didn't realise it was already running. And that is fine, but it'll just flash up like this, I know it's connected. Uh, but usually you'll just get the, the, the logo flash and that's all you need for that. If I now press connect... Dublin International Information There we go. Whiskey. ATIS has come Zulu. directly on. Local weather not available. Weather at Valley is winds are 182 at 23 knots. Visibility 6 miles. 1,200 few clouds. 7,000 broken. Temperature 12, dew point 9. Current altimeter. All I'm going to do is just change that frequency now because. I don't want to listen to the ATIS, but you always start off with ATIS. So as soon as you know it's loaded up, ATIS will turn on. You do need to make sure you have power to the aircraft. If you don't have power to the aircraft, it won't work. But obviously, we have that cancelled. And as you can see here, that means we're connected. So if this was red, that means you haven't connected the battery or it might not realize the aircraft is on. Okay, so what we now need to do is actually file this flight plan. And now we have both of these in green. So there's a few other things now that we can look at down here. Now, this box is a very handy box. PTT is us talking and say it is the co-pilot talking. So if I use my push to talk button, it should work. There we go. It's, it's highlighting in green. And if we press the question mark, this will help us. And I'm going to show you how in a second. So when we're here, there's a lot of things we can get from this, from weather, taxis, runways, etc. But the main one we want are the frequencies. So there is a manual to this. It's a very complex. It's a very big manual, but I do recommend you read it, especially from 189 onwards, page 189 onwards. It'll tell you the kind of stuff that you need to talk about and what kind of uh, controller type that you need. And it, it gives you the breakdown. So what we actually need is EIDW clearance and delivery. So if I've clicked that, you can see now it's gone into our standby, but this won't work on the simulator just yet. Now we can automatically tune that in ourselves if we wish or we can do it automatically now if I double click it again it'll bring you up this new little box that we can keep running on us I run on a separate monitor and if I just press transfer 
that is now connected and it's going to be connected in here as well so now that you can see it's now brought up a few things request information report so we're going to need clearance and it's going to basically tell you what you need to say ready to copy IFR clearance ready to copy ready to copy VFR clearance now we have IFR clearance uh, so let, let's try this so we have Ryanair 2042 so I'm just going to press the push to talk I'm just going to use the mouse because we're here Ryanair 2042 ready to copy IFR clearance Ryanair 2042 is cleared to Echo Golf Kilo Kilo climb via the DEX E1M departure with the Dexon transition then as filed Expect departure runway 16. Climb to flight level 200 via the departure. Expect higher clearances 10 minutes after departure. Squawk 5121. Ryanair 2042 is cleared to Echo Golf Kilo Kilo. Climb via the DEXE1M departure, with the Dexon transition, then as filed. Climb to flight level 200 via the departure. Expect higher clearances 10 minutes after departure. Squawk 5121. Ryanair 2042 read back correct. Altimeter 29 or 88 contact ground on 118.75 when ready for pushback have a nice day. Altimeter 29 or 88 ground on 118.75 Ryanair 2042. Okay, so because I have the co-pilot turned on, he has done that. So basically what you would need to learn then is basically what he has said. And uh, so you would want to do your readback correct. So this is exactly what I would have had to say if it was me. So it's a good way to kind of write this down um, because all of it's the same. It's just depending on your SIDs and transitions and stuff um, and what she's given you here. But if you write it down very quickly, you can set it back. But look, it is here in the box. She has said it, so I'd be able to repeat. So that's what I mean. Having the say it on automatically responding is good. Now, she has given us our squawk, our clearances, our height. So now I know that I need my transition is at 20,000, which is a bit high. But anyways, and I've got my squawk. Now, the next thing we need to do is that she's already told us what we need to do. We need to go into the ground. Now, as you can see, the ground has already been activated and it's already activated here because our co-pilot has done it so we're now in the ground and uh, so say if we want to now talk about our taxi we have our clearances uh, we, we could say we're ready for taxi or request taxi to active departure is probably what we would do at this point and um, so what we will do we will try this now Ryanair 2042 request taxi to active runway Ryanair 2042 taxi to runway 16 via taxiways Lima 3, Foxtrot 3, Foxtrot 4, Alpha Tango 5, Delta 3, hold short runway 16 arriving and departing runway 16. Taxi to runway 16 via taxiways Lima 3, Foxtrot 3, Foxtrot 4, Alpha Tango 5, Delta 3, hold short runway 16 Ryanair 2042. Okay, so look, our taxi is correct here. Um, so say then if we want pushback and engine start, so we can say we're ready for pushback, and we, we can also say that we're ready for engine start, but we can probably do them together. It's a lot easier. So say now we've completely configured our flight. I'm just showing you we're not moving away on the flight. So okay, then we can now talk to them again. I could just get him to say it. If I press say it with what I have clicked here, Ryanair 2042 ready for pushback and engine start. Ryanair 2042 pushback and engine start approved. Pushback and engine start approved Ryanair 2042. So there we go. So we'd have our pushback off. We wanted to do it again. Ryanair 2042 ready for pushback and engine starts. Ryanair 2042 pushback and engine start approved. Pushback and engine start approved Ryanair 2042. And there we go, guys. So there we go. It's a basic start. So then obviously next we'd make our taxi. Then we'd contact uh, tower. We'd be handed off to the tower once we've uh, we've made our taxi, etc. 
Um, so look, there is a lot to learn. You got to make sure you get these, the approach, the controls, the grounds, the towers, all in the right kind of way. Um, but like I said, the handbook is very, very good for that. It's a very good little program, like I said, especially if you want to learn uh, aircraft speech yourself. Now, like I said, I'm not perfect at this. I'm still learning this one. Um, but we're getting there and I'm going to start using it in a lot of my flights and all my flights. Actually, I'm going to start using this program um, and we're going to see how we kind of go. The other problem I have with VATSIM is VATSIM, the controllers aren't always online in your area. So you're using Unicom a lot, um, depending on where you're flying. So this is why this is good. That You'll have ATC no matter where you go. Now, we can get new voices and different language voices and stuff. Uh, I will show you how to do that maybe in a separate tutorial. We'll see how you guys think of this, what you guys think of this, if you think it's worth me doing. Uh, and then we will do that. Like I said, it is a very basic tutorial, but hopefully you get, kind of get the grips. And then what you need to do is go off and learn this a little bit yourself. Um, but... It is quite easy once you get used to it, and again, it's a very good way to learn aircraft speech and language if you do want to move up to VATSIM at some point. If you are enjoying this content, please let me know in the comments down below. Uh, let me know if you want to see any more of this. Uh, maybe I can do a bit more of an in-depth tutorial to it. it. I'll try my best anyways if that's something you would like. Uh, make sure you do subscribe down to the channel as well. Hit that like button. And other than that for myself, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.